step back in time and discover the ancient wonders that have captivated the world for centuries. From the mysterious ruins in Pumakunku, to the enigmatic standing stones of Stonehenge, and the awe-inspiring terracotta soldiers of China. Let's start off with Pumapunku, Bolivia. Imagine a place where ancient stones hold secrets that have puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. Pumapunku is an archaeological site located in Bolivia. It is known for its megalithic structures, which are believed to have been built by the Tiwanaku culture in the Andes during the 6th to 10th centuries AD. The precise purpose and construction methods of the site remain a mystery. Pumapunku is an archaeological site located near the city of Tiwanaku in Bolivia. It is believed to be a pre-Columbian site built by the Tiwanaku people. And it is known for its impressive stone structures and intricate carvings. Here are some things to do in Pumapunku. Explore the stone structures of Pumapunku they are known for its impressive weight of over 100 tons. You can explore the intricate carvings and architectural features of these structures, which demonstrate the advanced engineering and artistic skills of the Tiwanaku people. The mystery of who constructed and placed the stones at Pumapunku has puzzled experts for decades. The stones, some weighing over 100 tons, were quarried from a site more than 50 miles away, and it remains unclear how they were transported and assembled with such precision leading some to speculate that the builders had access to advanced technology or that the site was created by extraterrestrial beings. These mysteries continue to fascinate visitors and experts alike, making Pumapunku one of the most enigmatic archaeological sites in the world. The Sunken Court is a large, rectangular courtyard that is sunken into the ground. It is surrounded by a series of stone pillars and walls, and it is believed to have been used for ceremonial purposes also known for its intricate sculptures, which depict animals, humans, and other figures. You can view these sculptures up close and appreciate the fine details and craftsmanship of the Tiwanaku people. Some of the sculptures are housed in the on-site museum, which is also worth a visit. Part of the larger Tiwanaku culture, which existed in the Andes region from around 400 to 1000 AD. You can learn about the culture's art, religion, and daily life through the many exhibits and displays at the site. A guided tour is truly the best way to fully appreciate the history and significance of Pumapunku. Another mystery is Stonehenge in United Kingdom. Stonehenge is an ancient group of big stones located in Wiltshire. It consists of a ring of standing stones, some weighing over 25 tons, and is believed to have been constructed around 2500 BC. Known as an iconic prehistoric site, it is a popular tourist destination and attracts visitors from all over the world many things to be seen in Stonehenge. The most famous feature of Stonehenge is its circle of standing stones. You can walk around the perimeter of the circle and see the massive stones up close, which weigh up to 25 tons each. The Hill Stone is a large standing stone located just outside the main circle. It is believed to have been placed there as a marker for the summer solstice sunrise. The Avenue is a processional route that leads up to Stonehenge from the River Avon and used for ceremonial purposes. The Cursus is a large, rectangular earthwork located near Stonehenge and it is believed to have been used for ritual or ceremonial purposes. The Bronze Age burial mounds are several burial mounds in the Stonehenge landscape, dating back to the Bronze Age. It's a good idea to visit the Stonehenge Visitor Center which has much information of the site's history and significance. The Neolithic houses a glimpse into what life may have been like for the people who built Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a mysterious site that offers insights into the lives of our prehistoric ancestors. It is a must-see destination for anyone interested in history, archaeology, or ancient monuments. Stonehenge is most popular for the breathtaking view, spiritual significance. But visiting this site is also enjoyable if you're just interested in the landscape. It has impressive construction and alignments with the sun and moon, suggesting that it may have been used for astronomical purposes. As many ancient cultures believed that the movements of the stars and planets were linked to spiritual or supernatural forces. Despite centuries of research and speculation, many questions about Stonehenge remain unanswered. However, archaeologists are better able to understand the people who built Stonehenge through new technologies such as laser scanning and 3D modeling. The team found that Stonehenge was built from a series of circular pits and ditches with large amounts of broken pottery inside. 
These pits were probably used as mortuary buildings for burials, but the structures were too small to be real burial mounds. Stonehenge is an odd place in some respects, archaeologist William Render told the scientific community. There are no nearby settlements which would have generated the resources to construct it. Ancient China and the Terracotta Soldiers The Terracotta Soldiers were an army. They were impressive sculptures by the Qin Dynasty. It is composed of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies which were created to protect the emperor. The soldiers were buried with the emperor to protect him in death, and date back to 210 to 209 BC. The army consists of more than 8,000 life-sized figures, including soldiers, horses, chariots, and other military figures, each with unique facial features and clothing. The figures were arranged in military formation in underground pits, which were discovered by farmers in 1974. Terracotta Army is considered one of the most fascinating archaeological finds in history. And it has become a world-famous tourist destination in China. Qin Dynasty War Insights and Chinese Art and Culture Ancient China, the Terracotta Soldiers Why and When It Became Ruins The Terracotta Soldiers were buried in 210 to 209 BCE along with the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in order to protect him in his afterlife. However, the site where the Terracotta army was buried was eventually abandoned. And over time, the location was forgotten and became buried under soil and vegetation. As a result, the site was lost for centuries until it was rediscovered in 1974 by farmers digging a well in the area. As for the ruins of ancient China, there are many reasons why certain parts of ancient China became ruins over time. Some ruins were the result of natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, or landslides. Others were abandoned due to changes in political or economic conditions, or simply because they were no longer needed or were deemed outdated. Additionally, some ruins were destroyed by war or conflicts, either through direct military action or as collateral damage. Despite the many reasons why ancient Chinese sites became ruins, they provide valuable insights into the history, art, and culture of China, and are now popular tourist destinations. Ancient China, the Terracotta Soldiers What are the main things to see? Pit 1, this is the largest and most impressive pit, containing over 6,000 terracotta warriors, including archers, infantry soldiers, and cavalry. The pit is over 750 feet long and is where most of the excavation work has taken place. Pit 2 and Pit 3, these pits are smaller than Pit 1 but still contain thousands of terracotta figures, including soldiers, chariots and horses. Pit 2 is notable for its unique formations and detailed figures. While Pit 3 contains the command post and headquarters of the army, the Bronze Chariot and Horse Museum houses two bronze chariots and horses that were discovered near the terracotta army site. They are believed to have been used in the emperor's funeral procession. The Museum of Qin Shi Wang's mausoleum is located near the Terracotta Army site. It contains many artifacts from the Museum of Qin Shi Wang's mausoleum also contains information about the life and achievements of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Wang, as well as the history and excavation of the Terracotta Army. You can see a replica of the emperor's tomb, as well as artifacts from other tombs in the area.5. The Qin Shi Wang Mausoleum, while the main tomb itself has not yet been excavated, visitors can still see the massive tomb mound that covers it. The tomb mound is over 160 feet tall and is surrounded by a moat and other structures. It is believed to contain many treasures and wonders, but excavations have been limited due to concerns over preserving the site for future generations. The Terracotta Soldiers site is a fascinating and awe-inspiring place to visit, filled with history, art, and culture from ancient China. Unanswered Mysteries About the Terracotta Soldiers there are still many unanswered mysteries about the terracotta warriors to this day. For example, one of the biggest mysteries is why the army was constructed in the first place. Some historians believe that the warriors were created as a form of protection for the tomb of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, who believed that he would need an army to continue his rule in the afterlife. Others believe that the army was created to showcase the emperor's power and wealth. Another mystery surrounds the creation of the warriors themselves. It is unclear how the ancient craftsmen were able to create such intricate and detailed sculptures on such a massive scale. Some theories suggest that the craftsmen used molds to create the basic shapes of the warriors, while others believe that they may have used a kind of early assembly line production process. There are also questions about how the warriors were painted, 
as many of them were originally painted in bright colors that have since faded. Additionally, there are discrepancies in the size and appearance of the soldiers, which suggests that they may have been created by different craftsmen or during different time periods. Furthermore, there are still many unanswered questions regarding the construction of the tomb itself. Although the tomb has not yet been fully excavated, indicating that the tomb was likely a massive and sophisticated engineering feat. However, it is unclear how the ancient builders were able to construct such a large and complex structure without the use of modern technology. Also, there are also questions about the historical accuracy of the terracotta warriors. While the army is certainly a remarkable archaeological discovery, some historians have raised doubts about the accuracy of the soldiers' clothing, weapons, and other details. Some argue that the warriors may have been influenced by artistic styles from other regions or cultures, while others suggest that the sculptures may have been altered or even replaced over time. Despite these unanswered questions, the terracotta warriors remain a fascinating and awe-inspiring archaeological wonder, attracting millions of visitors from around the world each year. As new technologies and archaeological techniques continue to evolve, there is hope that we may one day uncover more information about the mysteries surrounding the terracotta warriors and the tomb of Emperor Chen Shi Huang. Archaeologists and historians continue to study the site, using advanced imaging techniques and other technologies to uncover new information about the warriors and the tomb. And as China's economy grows and the country's cultural heritage becomes more widely recognized, there is also hope that new funding and resources will be devoted to further exploration and research of this remarkable site. Thank you for joining us on a journey through time and immerse yourself in the fascinating history and intrigue of these incredible ancient ruins. Please subscribe and comment.